Greetings, welcome back, Bite of Friends. Ben Pearson, the Roadster Tracker, and we are back with Factorio with the uh, Nullius Maximus Mod Pack. And. Hmm. Feel like. Well, maybe it's not too big of a deal, but it seems like we should do some tweaking here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Got the sodium processing happening for what little salt we're getting. Jeez. Did I build this overkill structure or what? Yep, and there's really not enough water coming in here. Okay. Ooh, just had a nasty sneeze. Anywho, um, we're back trying to figure out stuff. It looks like we could probably use some more waste packs here. More wastewater. So maybe we'll try to import some. Mm. I think though, we're gonna change this area into a little bit more of a train station. I think that's the big goal. So how are we going to do that? What does this need to look like? Well, really we have four train stations here that should do things. We're going to need to do some importing of stuff. I think we'll build just another decent sized train station. Um. We've already started the deconstruct. How can we do this? Keep in mind, this is forward. We only really need to have a forward entrance here. Yeah. What about from here? Then... I mean... We could probably assume pretty safely that we're going to have full cargo there at all times. Okay. So what do we need to do then? Uh, we can just feed this back in. Hmm. Wish I had a more blank template to draw from, but it's fine. Um, this one's fairly blank. Yeah, this is the problem. So... Hmm. Also, I think this is... No, it's not going in the wrong way. We could do this, though. We can't feed back into that one. Um, choices, choices. Let's go something like this. Yep, that's not going to quite work. Uh, what about from here? Can we do this? Not without a silly loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, so we got to kill the first train station. That's fine. Not a big deal at all. Right there, it's got to be. Hmm. 
Okay, this looks fine. Now, how are we gonna get you guys back onto the belt? Hmm. Looks like our robot friends are helping with all the trains. Um, I'm not gonna landfill, so let's kill this guy. And then we need to kill you, you, and you. Whoops. Okay. Perfect. So now we suddenly have a lot more stations that we can work with. Yay. How do I get this back on though? Let's give ourselves maximum flexibility. Let's deconstruct everything to here. Mm. Let's see. Curve on. It's weird that it's the same direction, but I guess it would have to be, wouldn't it? This looks less stupid. Let's do this one. No, I'm very... Oh dear. Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Go. Go away. Uh, we need to unknown these guys. Okay, yay, done. Uh, now we just got checkpoints. Lovely. So I think, well, monocrystal silicon, no, I don't think we'll do that here. Let's put a chain signal here. And another one there and I thought I cleared all these guys. And it looks like, well, that's just a little bit of infrastructure. Let's get that fixed. And we'll be good to go. Hey, how about this? Not bad, not bad. Can kill this guy. And then we should put some some more signals here. Break this out. So we can get back on the bus a little bit easier. Bus on the main line. Okay, beautiful. Now, let's see here. We should probably do one for boric acid and boron. But we're gonna need a lot more stuff than that here eventually. I think I can pretty confidently say this is the last train station. Um. Let's check our recipes. Well, the whole reason why I wanted to do this, I remember now. I don't think we're actually connected up to the main power line. Let 
we need to take in goods uh, specifically the sodium sulfate which is from here just following the line goes down should just check the train stations but okay it's right there <clears throat> good there's no train station here well that's curious oh it's probably because i deconstructed it silly me uh was it the back one that's the thing that I needed to figure out. It is the front. This is concrete, sodium, drop off. Okay. We'll get this figured out in a scooch, but we've got a train here. Hmm. Yeah, it's never going to be fully empty. So let's go to concrete sodium drop off after. And we're going to say inactivity item count of the sodium equals zero, sodium sulfate. Or time passed, say 120 seconds. We're going to add an or here for the time passed 120 seconds. Okay. make sure this is connected to the main grid and it is good beautiful now let's get you going the other direction we really just need you to load into this box there I think we'll red jump this. Okay. Reverse. And that should do. Now we should have guaranteed glass production. Sweet. How's hard glass doing? What are we missing? Silica? Why? Oh, because I'm an idiot. It's fine. What could we do to improve this production? Caustic solution. Well, hmm, we do have a full batch here of caustic. The problem is not enough hydrogens being used. Oh boy, what to do for the hydrogen usage? Um, honestly, this type of stuff is producing far, far, far more of us. These guys shouldn't be running. Okay, we're gonna set up a better system here.
Good enough. Let's go to CO2 drop off. And getting some base supplies will help. Actually, making the lubricant, the steel cable will also very much help. But uh, the big thing that I'm looking forward to is we're going to change the way that hydrogen is being produced. Oh, good. Full tank of CO2. Cossack is okay. So what we're going to do is prioritize the use of this stuff. Because that's really the problem. This is going to be a very fun navigational maze. Let's put this here. Then next we need to connect you to here. We need to do a similar length one. Right there. Okay, then we're going to connect you to, hmm, here should be good enough. Then we're going to disconnect these guys. We're going to connect these pumps to here instead. And then you guys can pump if less than 20. We already see a little bit of an improvement. Yeah, this guy is completely, totally drained. Okay. How's that going to affect things up here? Hmm. Well, we still have a lot of hydrogen in the line. All right. Look at how much more salt is being produced all of a sudden. We must have had a big sledge drop off. Okay. Good. Now, let's start to improve the amount of sludge that we're sending here. We're going to start uh, reprocessing our wastewater. It'll be nice to have less outflows too. Okay, so let's put this into a tank. We're gonna pump this up. Pump, pump you up. Okay, so that's going to become full. Now this wastewater here, 
Let's get rid of that processing for a moment. And we're going to actually put the processing down here. This is wastewater filtration. That's seawater, so let's see, the wastewater comes down here. We're going to try to put more wastewater through here. So we need to change this direction to here. Well, actually I want to feed this as a separate line. Into that tank if we can do it. Uh, let's use a teensy bit of landfill. We have still a decent amount. And then we're going to just connect this here and then this guy is going to be set to only pump if the saline is less than 20,000. So it's going to stop pumping and we're going to start only accepting stuff from the uh, reprocessing. This is a sludge line. Let's go ahead and just connect you down here. Don't want to have any backfill, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Nice. So, what else can we do with this? Is this sludge reprocessing? Yeah, we want to get rid of this. We do not need this anymore. So that accepts sludge in. All right, this is fine. So let's just look for more outflows. We're gonna see if we can get rid of some of these outflows. This is probably a good time to do this because there's not a huge demand for anything. I actually, we're going to turn this off relief and we're going to, actually let's pump this as a red. Okay, let's just take this and we're going to pump it all down here. Thank you. 
let's just move this by whoops control X we're gonna just scooch this down one now you actually do want this to go through a pump Oh wait, that's not the right one. This is the input. Okay. Let's see if we can do this actually. Don't know that we'll succeed fully. My guess is, is this saline water is just going to become too much. We could still do a relief valve. Hmm. But no, we seem to be getting rid of the wastewater, so that's good. What can we do? No hydrogen here needed. Hmm. <laughs> well, we could burn the hydrogen. We could, and that might be the solution. Why is there not more hydrogen chloride? Oh, that's just the pump from, yeah. This one is not pump fed, okay. Let's go rejiggle these guys a little bit now that we understand things better. We're actually gonna put two, three, four. That's much, much better. Then we can take this guy. We can put you there and we can pump feed this guy. That's a temporary increase. Okay. Where does that methane come from? Um... Don't know how inclined I am to keep this guy around, to be honest. This is brine electrolysis. Then we've got the standard electrolysis, and this is the pure stuff. I don't really want the pure stuff going. Let's put a pump here. We're only going to activate you if. The hydrogen is too low. It's less than 20,000. Okay. Looking fine. All right. Uh, what's next? Now, we have too much saline water. 
only had a sink for the pure water. And we really don't have one. Where's the pure water coming from? Oh, this distillery is... Okay, so we are filtering out our seawater, but not that often. Hmm. And why does this have no ethane? We should be producing plastic here, and that no doubt will make a difference. We've got methane, we have no oxygen. But we have oxygen here. Oh my. Um. Well, hang on. Oh boy, let's see. Let's get rid of this tank for the moment. Okay, and we'll put the tank here, I guess. Look at this! Much, much, much better. Do we actually have that much brine? Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to switch this into a little bit better form. Let's put your power here. Okay. I think this will do. And now we've got too much hydrogen, which this is one of the ones that we're trying to pump clear. Okay, good. Hydrogen or chlorine? Let's dump the chlorine. But that's not the problem. The problem is the hydrogen. Okay. And there's not really a ton that we can do about that. But... Well, we're getting a little bit better production. We should see... Plastic should be picking up. No ethane, there's... Why? There's too much pure water. Okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, let's um... Hmm. Let's go ahead and just jump through this. Okay. 
So we just need to go into this and then we need to somehow connect this up here. Oh boy. Do we actually need methane in this direction? Where? Oh, for methanol. What do we use methanol for? We don't. So we had considered doing this, but we don't really need this. Which means, I mean, no, we're not going to do that. Okay, let's try this. It's a better spot for the ethane tank, and then... Hmm... I don't know. You obviously don't need nitrogen down here. Okay, why don't we do this? Slightly silly. And it may come back to bite us someday, but we'll do that. But then we still have the problem here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try this then. Yeah. Oh, this is a pain, but what are we going to do? There we go. Now that works. Problem is now not enough methane, which is too much water. Oh, it's because we killed the system that we needed. Yeah, that's fair. It's interesting that both these guys produce water as a byproduct. Hmm. So we'll put this there, we'll put you here. And we've got another way to suck lots and lots of water out of the system. Okay, so we're gonna have tons of water potential in this system. We should find something better to do with all of that water. Hmm. Still. We have a full tank of caustic solution. I don't know that we can ask for a whole lot more than that. Even if we don't have a lot of backup. The reason is the hydrogen still? No. Why? It's chlorine now. Fluid shortage. It's chlorine.
chlorine and hydrogen is lacking? What? But there was... Oh! Oh, oh. Okay, we gotta change some stuff up. The hydrogen can only come to the hydrochloric stuff if we have a shortage and we're using it from the water. Hmm. So I'm going to get rid of that last pump. I think that's the cleanest solution to this. This pump right here has got to go. So the only way this tank will get completely filled is if it comes from there. That I believe is as it should be. Do we want to have... This is brine electrolysis. No, we don't want to have a separate tank for there. That's putting stuff in. Yeah. We do pump out of there, do we? Yes, we do pump out. Okay, so that's better. Now this can go a little bit back and forth and that will drain the hydrogen, or the chlorine from the system, which will drain the hydrogen from the system. don't really know if we need to do this still, but that's fine. Uh, how is the sludge? Looks fine. Why do I have two different trains that are carrying sludge? Uh, you know, that guy really shouldn't be carrying sludge. Hmm. Let's fix this. We do still have some waste water that we're using, but that's okay. We'll slowly eke it out. Oh, that's the from the chemical processes up top. Yeah, that's fine. We'll work on getting that over. But I mean, there's substantial amount of sludge processing that's happening now. Hmm. Let's see what train does come here. Aluminum waste pickup. So that's going to be here. Currently has a train car full of sludge. So the sludge needs to go back. And it needs to go to this guy. I think I'll have this be a separate pump in point so we can always control it. Now this should start filling with sludge a lot quicker. Um
Oh, we're pumping that the wrong direction. So let's go start pumping the other way. There we go. That's better. So we should get that completely, totally drained. Once the sludge car is gone, then we'll be able to do more stuff. Okay. How is the waste processing coming? Yeah, saline water is still kind of critical. We're going to have to find a way to deal with the too much saline water. Uh, what we did at the other site was converted into brine and then from there electrolyzed it and make acid and all sorts of fun stuff with it. But we already have maxed out hydrogen chloride, hydrochloric acid. Uh, really, sending this train off would help. Or this one. I mean, they've got a lot of stuff in them. Really, we're just a few factory train cars from really massive, massive stuff happening. This is stuck because of a lack of caustic solution, really? Wait just a sec. Oh boy. This has caustic. And then this does not. Why? Okay, let's go fix that real quick. Um, I'm going to take this train. Choo -choo. Got to keep the iron processing, so the caustic solution is important there, but yeah, this will definitely help. Flotation cell ones. Let the bot slowly find its way back to usefulness. Okay. Let's build a little sidewalk up there. We're going to build a sidewalk maybe here, a little bit wider. Put concrete down. There we go. Now we're getting lots and lots of rust. And it's going all the way down to the edge. We have very close to, but not quite a full row. Good. Let's keep building our sidewalk and then we'll call this episode done, I believe. Basically getting no salt, which I'm okay with. Don't know fully where we're going to use the salt. Hmm.
<laughs> we do have topped off water at all of these guys. This is a little low. Uh, we don't need this connected. Those guys are not actually connected. We could do that. I mean, why not? Okay. That train's just destined to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Still got a full tank of Cossack. How's this look? Um, we do have the reserve that we want to keep here. So it's too much saline, too much brine, and too much hydrogen chloride. I mean, it's fine, I guess. The hydrogen chloride is too much hydrochloric acid, which we probably see right here. Yep, we have full things of caustic, full things of hydrogen chloride. We could even make the sulfuric acid here. We are making some here. And we are carefully controlling what we're using. So yeah, that's all good. This is all really, really good. Okay, I'm happy now with this station. Um, I think we've got everything automated. We've gotten the problems fixed. And overall, we should just be able to keep this guy running and running. Just want to make sure all of these guys are yellow. Can we put one more? Uh, let's put one more set there. I think we can use it and we'll just have to reroute the sodium sulfate here. Looks like we're a little bit low on crushed limestone. Anything we can do to improve that? Not really. One of the problems with this setup is we probably should import a little bit of crushed limestone. Hmm. We could add another station or two. We could even just start mining that. Now that I do like. Look at this though, I mean, we use so little crushed limestone. We still have this huge, huge chest of it. Let's go take that huge chest. Last thing we'll do for the episode. It's 30 seconds. Yeah, we all do stop and it's yellow because there's, yeah. Having a big injection of crushed limestone would help to It'll minimize the amount of lime that's being produced. That's our goal. It's been a while since we've been down to this part of the base. Hmm. 
See if there's any upgrade gotchas that are going to happen. Don't see them. Well, that's not crushed limestone. This is pure limestone. Oh. Uh, that's fine. So then the crushed limestone we can steal from... I actually don't have the train here, but... We'll just steal it from those chests, then walk back up. Uh, let's lay down a path. We already have one. Oh well. Those guys all got upgraded. Beautiful. Yeah, the crushed limestone and lime, we need it for concrete production, we need it for the science, but there's not a whole lot else that we use it for yet. We probably need to set up a crushed limestone delivery here though, but we'll see how far the supplies that we brought with us will take us. It should take us a ways. crushed limestone and then we're gonna stick this box and fill it and we'll let things run for a minute what's the problem is sludge yeah okay that's fine lack of sludge is a good problem to have Okay. Last thing we can try is... Oh, there we go. Go ahead and limit this to crushed limestone just to make sure that that's all that ever gets in there. Oh, we're probably... Yeah, we're feeding off a bunch to our lime production, which is fine. Really should buffer this at a different point. Hmm. Let's cut this off for just a scooch. So we're going to cut We'll put this there And then This is where we're going to do the priority splitter so we need to prioritize output to the left. Okay. That should work now. I don't think we need to worry about input priorities. Let's 
go ahead and just dunk what we've got in there. We converted a fair bit to lime and that's fine. Don't know what else we were going to do with that crushed limestone. Eventually it probably would have been there, but that's fine. Yeah. This will work and then the most important thing is that this is all running now. The lime is getting... Okay, we do have a whole bunch of lime that's going through there. Good. I'm going to put the lime in a buffer as well. Beautiful. So now we should always have the lime. And hopefully we have most of the uh, other stuff too. Okay. Let's check in to see if there's anything else we should do. We can clean up this belt. This belt, just some tailings. But overall, I think we're in pretty decent shape now. What's the problem? Still no Cossack, huh? Wait. Where are you? So we dropped off the water. Maybe... Maybe we don't need pure water there as much anymore. I mean, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to add a... 30 seconds past. Or 30 seconds past and fluid count Cossack equals zero. There we go. That's how we want it to be. So if you've waited 30 seconds and you have no Cossack, then go ahead and leave. Otherwise, only leave when you've been inactive. Yeah, we'll give the water a chance to come off. But that should speed up the loop considerably. Let's just see this work. Drains the Cossack. How's the Cossack here now? It's pretty full. But not completely full. And why is it not more full? It's hydrogen? But at least these guys are not going off. Okay. So we're doing better. Uh, it's still not perfect, but I am pleased with this for now. This has been long enough. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know whatever questions, comments you guys have. I appreciate all you do. Until next time, keep on tracking. Take care. We will see you then. Bye-bye.